Hi everyone, welcome along. Today I'm going to be commissioning a Virgin's 100 combi boiler adding a VK thermostat. So if you've installed the boiler now, the boiler's safe and all ready to go, you've done all your safety checks, the next thing to do would be to commission the boiler. To add the VK thermostat, what we'll need, we'll need the VK app, the Vita Guide app, you'll need an IEM account, a VK thermostat, and inside the VK thermostat box there's also a card with a QR code. Okay, so the first thing to do would be to take the case off the boiler because we need to get to the uh, sticker inside the boiler. So, to get the case off, we push up the two lugs underneath, that releases the case forward, then we push the uh, case up. On the back of the PCB you'll notice there's a sticker, this is what we call a Wi-Fi sticker, and in the wallet next to that you'll also get some spare stickers. Okay, this is very important because what you need to do is stick some of these on the outside of the case or in the manufacturing instructions. There is a dedicated place in the manufacturing instruction booklet for the customer to stick a sticker. The reason for this is if the customer changes their Wi-Fi in the future and wants to reconnect the boiler to their home internet, they need this QR code and we don't want them going inside the boiler. So once you've established where the QR code is, we need to make sure the boiler's in what we call AP mode. Now when you first switch on your boiler, your boiler will automatically go to AP mode. However, if you accidentally take it out of AP mode, I'll show you now how to put the boiler into what we call AP mode. So we go to the front of the boiler, you'll see that the boiler is in the standby mode with what we call a light guide pulsating. This can be configured, uh, by the way, uh, in the manufacturing instructions, you will see some instructions on how to configure standby mode and the light guide. To wake it up, we just press the menu button there, and then to get into AP mode, we have to access what we call the service menu. To access the service menu, we press and hold the menu and OK buttons together for four seconds. So I'll just do that now. Okay, and you can see it automatically goes to what we call B1. Use the up arrow to get to B5. Press OK, and the boiler comes up with AP mode. AP stands for access point, meaning you can now connect a mobile device to the boiler using the Wi-Fi card in the boiler. However, if you're just doing a front panel commission, you can press and hold the menu button for four seconds, which takes you to the codes ready for commissioning via the front panel. But for today, what we need, we need AP mode so we can connect our mobile device to the boiler. Now I'm going to show you using the app how you can connect your phone to the boiler ready to start the commissioning and adding the VK thermostat. Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll put a screenshot in the video so you can see my app on my uh, phone as I go through the commissioning so you can go through it step by step with me. Okay, so what we've done, we've already logged in with our IM account on the app. Okay, we've got access to the QR sticker and the boiler's all ready to go for commissioning and it's in AP mode. Okay, so we'll start the commissioning now on the app. So if you want to take a look at the video as we go through and then you can follow it through step by step with me. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is click on New System because we want to commission a new boiler. Okay, today we're working on the Vittitons 100 Combi, so we'll be clicking on the screen on uh, Vittitons 1 series. Okay, the very first question it asks you is do you want to redeem a VCare thermostat voucher? Now this is the voucher you got in the box with your VCare thermostat. It does have a QR code on, so because we're connecting a VCare thermostat today, we'll select yes at this stage. So click on yes, press continue, it now asks you do you want to scan that QR code. It is possible to put the digits in yourself manually if your camera should be disabled on your phone for any reason, um, but we're going to scan it today and I'll show you how to do that. This is the card we've shown you earlier that you'll need now to scan the QR code. So I'm just going to scan the QR code using the app, click on scan QR code, it enables the camera and then we can, uh, we're able to scan the QR code and then click continue. Okay, so press continue. It's now asking you, has the appliance been commissioned already? It is possible to commission the appliance as many times as you please, and you can go back through the commissioning. Should you uh, forget to add something onto the commission, you can go back through and do the commission again. It does store your details, and it picks up any of the information that you've put in previously. For today, it's a new installation, so we're gonna say no, it's not been commissioned, and click on no and start a fresh commissioning. Okay, it's now asking us to connect our mobile device 
to the boiler. So I have to say at this point, we're not using the customer's home Wi-Fi at this point. We're connecting our mobile device to the Wi-Fi module inside the boiler itself. To do that, we need to scan the QR code on the front of the boiler. Okay, so on the app, you can see we click on continue with QR code. Again, it is possible to enter the information yourself using the information on the sticker if your cam camera is not enabled on your phone. Okay, so we're going to scan the QR code. And it's asking us to join to the network, and that's us joining to the boiler itself. Okay, so it's now saying we're connected to the boiler. Press continue, and now we can start the commissioning process and the commissioning steps. So now what we're doing is we're actually doing a commission on the boiler. Okay, so you can see the first step is filling. So you can use the boiler to help you with the filling of the system. If you click on yes, what it will do, it will hold the diverter valve in its middle position while you're putting water into the boiler. You can actually set the uh, target pressure as well for whatever you're comfortable with on your, on your systems. Okay, once you're happy it's all filled. This boiler is pre-filled by the way, so I'm going to be just skipping through these steps. So click on continue. Now you've got the option to vent using the app as well. So what this will do, by clicking on yes, it will actually move the diverter valve to the heating position and over to the water position intermittently and it starts and stops the pump and that helps vent the heat exchanger and all get the, all the air out of the boiler. You can see there it starts a countdown timer and it automatically ends after 20 minutes. You can however, if you're comfortable that you've already removed all the air from the boiler, you can just click on continue and proceed to the next step. If you get a notification like I've got on the screen saying uh, do you want to use mobile data or keep trying Wi-Fi, we always select keep trying Wi-Fi. There's also the option at the bottom once you scroll down to set up a notification. So this means when the 20 minute ends, the app can send you a notification to say that the venting process is ended. So we click on continue. It does notify me there that I'm ending the process early, but I'm happy with that because I know this boiler has already been vented. Okay, so the next step here, we have to tick the box that says Delta te Temperature Room Modulation. That's because we're adding a VCare thermostat today. So click on continue. It now comes up with the configuration you're using for that heating circuit. Now the VCare thermostat can only run one heating circuit, so a lot of this is populated for us already. You can see in the operating mode, it's already set to Delta Temperature Room Modulation. That's us using the VCare thermostat. You can check the date and time is all correct and you've set the automatic changeover for the summer and winter time to yes. If you want to put this on an LPG system, you can click on gas type and change that to uh, LPG. And that's your boiler fully changed over to LPG by the way, there's no need for restricted discs or gas valve changes. Okay, you can change the flue length or the flue type, depending on uh, your installation. And once you're happy with that, you can then click on continue. The boiler then does what we call a flue gas sensor check and that just checks that the flue gas sensor is in position and detects a, a rise in temperature. It does bring the boiler on with the, the heat with the gas and it holds the pump off. You can see on this one it's been skipped because I've already commissioned this uh, boiler earlier today. So we click on continue. It just prompts us with things as we go through to make sure you've connected all your electrical components to the boiler. It gives us a system scheme and on this one, as I said before, it's only one heating circuit that's been pre-populated for us. So we just click on continue. Uh, we're not going to be using a um, EA1 box uh, today, so we've got to skip that and press on continue. Okay, you now get the option to do additional settings. Okay, so in additional settings you can fine tune your boiler. This is where you can do such things as range rate of the boiler, setting maximum flow temperatures, adjusting pump speeds, etc. Uh, for today, we're going to skip these, but please see our other videos on YouTube where we go through setting up the boiler with all the parameters uh, to fine tune the boiler. So for today, we're going to click on No, Skip Additional Settings. And that's our commissioning completed for the boiler. Okay, so our commissioning is now completed. We click on Continue. The next step will be to add the VCare thermostat and pair that to the actual boiler itself. This uses a low power radio frequency. Okay, so we click on, do you want to add a climate sensor? Click on yes, press continue. 
it now gives you a guided process of how to set the VCare thermostat up and that's adding the battery that comes supplied with the unit. Okay, I've done this already. Again, keep uh, trying Wi-Fi. If you get a notification to keep trying Wi-Fi, click on continue, follow the steps through. Now it's time to scan the QR code on the back of the VCare thermostat itself. Okay, so I'm just about to do this now. So scan QR code using the camera. Scan the QR code on the back of the VK thermostat. You can see there it's identified the VK thermostat. Click on continue. And now it's time to pair the VK thermostat to the boiler. To do this, we need to press the little button on the back of the VK thermostat. Again, the instructions are on the app as you follow it through. Okay, once you've pressed the button on the back of the VK thermostat, you do get a green pulsating dot on the front of the thermostat to show that it's in pairing mode. Okay, if you look at the app, it'll say configuring at the bottom, and now my app's gone to connected. That means it's actually found the thermostat and it's now connected to the boiler. So now it's time to click on continue. It does give you some advice of where to place the thermostat within the property. And now it says uh, the configuration is successful. So now the VK thermostat is completely added to the boiler. Click on continue. Okay, the next step of the, uh, the commissioning is to now connect the actual boiler itself to the homeowner's Wi-Fi. And to do that, we use the device connectivity as you can see in the screen. So yes, in this situation, using the VK thermostat, we need to connect the boiler to the internet so that we can use the VK app. So we click on yes and press continue. As you can see on mine, it's populated a list of uh, all the available uh, networks in range, as you would do connecting any sort of mobile device to your internet at home. Okay, for this one, I click on uh, Work at Beesman. I put the passcode in for the, uh, for the internet. And now you can see on the screen, it's actually connecting the boiler now to the homeowner's Wi-Fi. You may notice that the boiler comes out of AP mode at this point. That's normal if you see that happening on your boiler and it goes back to the main screen. But the boiler does continue to try and connect to the internet at this point. Okay, so you can see now on the screen that it got to 100% and now it's asking me again now to scan the QR code on the front sticker on the boiler. So I'll click on scan QR code. Rescan it. Press confirm. And now that's my boiler connected to the homeowner's Wi-Fi, connected to the internet. So I'll click on continue. And now there's some more steps we can do to help the customer set the VCare up. Okay, these next steps are you helping your customer get their VCare set up. So what you can do, you can put the, some of the information in for them. So when they get their VCare app, they don't have to repeat the process of setting up the information. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, you have to fill in the details of where the installation is actually situated. Okay, so I'll input these now and I'll skip this uh, in the video so you haven't got to see me typing it in. Okay, so the next step is the customer invitation. So on this section I'd always recommend if you're putting a VCare thermostat on that you click on yes, add customer's email. What this does, it generates an email and sends it to the customer with an invitation to take their system over but it also gives them some guidance on how they can download the app and it tells them some instructions on how to set the app up themselves. So I'll click on yes, add customer email, click on continue, and I'm gonna put an email address in again. And again, I'll skip this bit of the video just so you haven't got to see me input in the details. Okay, so once you've entered the customer's email address, click on continue. Okay, so it says device connected, click on finish. You now get the opportunity to see a commissioning report. So if you click on yes, you can see a full commissioning report on how you set that boiler up. You can also save that as a PDF or send it to somebody as a PDF also. I'm gonna click on no for now. Okay, so that's my system completely commissioned. I've added a VCare thermostat and I've also put all the details in and sent the customer an invitation to use their VCare app. Now you can move on to the VCare app for the customer and help them get that set up. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next video.